and I just chose this one. And you go over to Open Canvas, which I have it open at the bottom, which you can't see. You save your picture and you open it up, just like I did there. You go to Create a Canvas, and I think you hit New, and you, I have 800 by 800. And so you hit OK, and you get a canvas. You move it out of the way there, like that. Center, focus it, whatever you want to do. And you take a blue, or whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be blue. Be whatever. And you draw a circle. For the base of his head there. Sorry, I toned down a bit. Next, you make a vertical line going down. Divide up his head in the center. Show where it centers at. You make a horizontal line to show where the bottom of the eyes would go. And on top of that, you make another one to show where the top of the eyes would go. And then you place two vertical lines in between those to show where the eye would go. I only made one due to the fact you can only see the one eye. Next, as you can see, I'm drawing the chin in. And like a triangular thing to it. You know, all is changing depending on the person, character. Then you make the neck. As you can see, I made it too short. And then you start making lines for the shoulders. You just use basic shapes for this, because then you just fill it out later. Basic little shapes, la la la. Circle, shoulder, line, arm. I have a crescent thing ish uh, for the ear. Now you can see I'm thickening out the neck, making it thicker ish. Basing it up that line there and then making a sh circle of that thing, the shoulder to show where the bump of the shoulder is. And I'm making the other side of his coat there, as you can see, with the white, where that white is, and the ribbon and stuff. And I messed up. Typical me. Yay! What am I doing now? And then I'm drawing in the nose, because you might want to get that out of the way first before you draw in his hair. And then you start drawing in the cape, coat, thing, collar. It's kind of like blowing in the breeze. Ish. Just little triangles and stuff. Then you start drawing in his hair, which is really fun, because it's just like spikes. It's pretty epic. Good old Tezuka making that. Sideburn. You gotta notice how they are, kind of comes out on the side there a bit, just a bit. Just a tad bit. And I probably failed with that. Yep. I did. Now you gotta make sure the spikes kinda come a bit out of the circle. As you can see, I failed at that. It doesn't look too good, but yeah. I'm gonna try and go over that in a bit here. Hang on getting there. Yay, fixing! Yep, gotta do that. And then you take, like, make it like a triangle base in the back of his head there for his little back hair thing. Kind of spiffy. Very spiffy. I like it. And then you make the other side of his coat there with the little flappy collar things. Then you take, well actually no, no, you don't do that, bad Amanda, bad. You actually should make a new layer, lighten up the base one, and then continue drawing in your final details for this guy. You see I'm making the eye, it's kind of a cartoonish kind of one, kind of, sort of, but yet it still has that realistic look to it a bit, just a bit. Yes, I know I make my eyes a bit too big, but that's just how I draw. I've always done that, so yeah. Make your eyes a little highlight, pupil going in there. Color it in if you'd like, I normally do. Mix it spiffy. Draw the eyebrow. Mainly just going over your lines now and filling in extra chunk. Oh. Okay. Let's just go over your hair. This hair thing going. Making it all spiky and spiffy.
Biffy and Sexy. You don't have to have as many spikes as you reference. I mean, it helps, but if you can get it exact. So just the doodle, so. I didn't get it exactly quite right. Either have too many or too less. It doesn't really matter anyways. And then you get your little, your little bangs in there going. Finishing in his head there. Oh. Now I'm um, going up to the hair. Start, start from the bottom. It's a lot easier that way. Learn the hard way. Don't start from the top. Start from the bottom and work up. And go over your nose so you can see. A little smell. Sorry. Oh, man. A little smile in there. Smirk. More of a smirk. Scar thing going. Ear. A little line in there for the inside. Oh, Tezuka did it. A bow. A little bow in there, eventually. Yep, a little bow going in. Yeah, I make it like obnoxious sometimes. It all depends. This one's gonna be obnoxious. Filling in his hair up there. I, I jump around a lot from picture to picture. I just jump. Go over your lines, making his collar there. I make it go into the back a bit, even though it probably shouldn't. Still do that anyways. Just a habit of mine. Big shoulder. Little lines I have down there to show where his arm might come up. His coat flap thing, his little arm over there. And then this the back here, where his sleeve is. Yeah, I didn't make a base for that because I kind of just kind of forgot. Now you can color it in. I think I sped through this part. I'm probably not. I'm going to speed through this part. And you can color it if you want. I'm just doing this quick to show you where how his hair would look. All kind of colored in and crap. And yeah. Now we're just kind of speeding this up and going all insane. His face scar changes depending on I, n I tend to make it skin colored, but here I'll make it blue, just to be nice and make like the reference. His ribbon changes too. This ribbon tie thing. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's blue. In the one anime, it was red. Don't know about any of the other ones, but the one was 2003, four, was it? You know, just kind of scribble. Making it all kind of spiffy, at least so I'll keep trying. And there you have it. You got yourself a blackjack. See? Yeah. Pretty good. Congratulations. Goodbye.